believe China is slowing. Uh, we believe China is in the transition from an investment-led economy to a consumption-led economy. Uh, we believe that this will be very positive over the years, uh, but we also know that it's going to be very messy. Uh, the Chinese slowing is affecting the rest of the world very heavily. Commodity exporting nations, particularly in the emerging markets, have been suffering from this. Uh, and that general uh, profit uh, and revenue decline in the emerging markets and China has been spilling into sentiment in the developed markets. So we think a lot of the recent volatility in global markets is attuned to the fact that China is slowing uh, and that slower demand in China in the emerging markets in the emerging markets could affect the developed markets. So far, we've not seen a decline in economic activity in the developed markets, uh, and, but we're watching this very carefully. Many emerging markets nations are dependent on oil exports. Venezuela, 95% uh, of their export revenue comes from oil. Uh, so this is a very big factor around the world. Uh, we've seen Saudi Arabia draw on its savings uh, in order to endure this tough period. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of volatility from the decline in oil prices. Uh, we do think, though, that there are significant offsets. Uh, the decline in oil uh, means several hundred dollars a year for the average American family. Uh, that money has largely been saved, but that can be spent in the future. So we are seeing some pluses and minuses from the volatility in crude. We think that the central banks so far have done a good job supporting economic growth. We think that Europe uh, is finally starting to see quantitative easing kick in. Uh, we're seeing credit extension to businesses growing in Europe. So we do see that as a real positive. Uh, we think, though, that quantitative easing becomes less effective over time. And we don't think that uh, quantitative easing will be able to accelerate growth that much in Europe. In the United States, we are seeing the withdrawal of monetary stimulus. We think that the Fed is going to act very, very slowly and very carefully so as not to upset uh, global conditions.